Welcome to the IR News Channel. That country Russia war is still undergoing some very intriguing developments. Vladimir Putin, the leader of Russia, announced mobilization across the country last Wednesday. Immediately after Putin's announcement of mobilization, Russia gave in to darkness and chaos. The fact that things in Russia have become so chaotic in such a short period of time made the Russian people very uneasy. The Russian people now wanted Russia's occupation policy in Ukraine to end and declared that they were completely opposed to it. The Russian mobilization many autonomous republics within the Russian Federation also joined the protests, and the most surprising of these was of course Chechnya. Although thousands of Russian citizens were detained, the criminal sanctions were insufficient to stop the local Russian population from mobilizing and anti-war protests from continuing on the streets of Russia. A shocking demonstration against the Russian occupation policy took place in Chechnya, one of Vladimir Putin's strongest holds, and the anti-war movement was mobilized across Russia. Chechens went to the supermarket. Until their voices were muffled, magical anti-mobilization cries were heard. Chechen women shouted that they did not want to send their children to the war as they demanded an end to the bloodshed in Ukraine. When the anti-mobilization protests broke out in his country, Kartrov, Putin's adopted son who has not let go of the strings for a second with the repression management he has established, went crazy. Even in his own country, the Chechen leader, who has not let go of the strings for a second, ordered the immediate detention of the protesters. This massive uprising in Chechnya went down in history as the first anti-war protest. Russian citizens the local people of Chechnya continue to oppose both Chechen leader Kartrov and Russian leader Vladimir Putin. Ahmed Zakayev, a former prime minister of the Chechen Republic of Ichkaria who opposes the mobilization in Russia and views the Russian occupation policy as a hysterical discomfort fed by monstrous thoughts, said he supports the protests of the CRC. Chechen commander Ramazan Katarov has long been after Zakayev due of his opposition to Russian occupation policies and former Prime Minister Ahmed Zakayev's death warrant was finally signed by Ramazan Katarov. Recently, Chechen leader Katarov released a video recording in which he promised to reward anyone who brought Ahmed Zakayev's body. Kadrov, Putin's adopted son, is attempting to convert the destitute Chechens into bounty hunters by placing bounty demands on the heads of anyone who revolt against Putin and himself. In the video recording of Kartrov whomever discovers Zakayev must destroy him, he indicated that he will grant freedom to the person who shoots this goat and goes home and that he will comfort the person who comforts the Chechens fighting against the Russians in Ukraine while staying outside of Russia. Former Chechen Prime Minister Ahmed Zakayev, who maintains his anti-war views, is wanted by all Chechen intelligence and many people who aspired to the award placed on Zakayev's head. Zakayev, who has been in exile for a long time, has not yet been traced in Ukraine. Speaking to the Chechens, he said anyone can return to Chechnya only on the condition that you shoot Zakayev in the forehead. Another unexpected development for Kartrov, who remained obedient to Vladimir Putin's commands throughout the Ukraine-Russian war, came from the Chechen soldiers currently engaged in hostilities in Ukraine. Kartrov was informed by Chechen military troops of Vladimir Putin's occupation policies on the Ukrainian fronts that the combat power of the Ukrainian army has become irresistible and that it's difficult to resist the Ukrainian army the Ukrainian army has managed to neutralize dozens of Chechen soldiers so far but Chechen leader Ramazan Katarov stated that there were no casualties among the soldiers he sent during the Ukraine war apparently the Chechen leader like his adopted father Vladimir Putin learned to hide his war losses. According to the reports shared by the Ukrainian armed forces a group of Chechen soldiers were neutralized in the conflict that took place in the northwest of Ukraine Chechnya leader. Ramazan Katarov on the other hand claimed that his report shared by the Ukrainian armed forces was not true and stated that his army continued it to Attacks on the valiant Ukrainian army in other regions and in the country's northwest the tension between the leaders of the two nations increases as the Chechen soldiers continue to advance despite Russian support. Both the Chechen and Russian leaders, Kartrov and Putin, have so far engaged in a number of nefarious political games in opposition to the epic advance of Ukraine.
They have war crimes and have violated numerous human rights. Many Russians were seeking for tickets for flights a few days before Putin made the official announcement of the mobilization on Russian state television, and once Putin made the announcement last Wednesday, more than 100,000 Russian residents departed the country. Aviation, rail, and driving after the declaration of mobilization, a much greater uprising developed. Previously, we informed you that within 10 days, satellite images of nearly 1 million Russian citizens on the border of Georgia, Finland, Azerbaijan, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan captured hundreds of thousands of Russian citizens fleeing the country. Reactions to Putin's assertive and unsuccessful political policies went beyond Russia's borders, with the majority of the world's nations uniting in opposition to the ongoing global agenda for a long time despite all of this, many world states did not remain silent against the Russian-Ukrainian war and the oppressive mobilization decision in Russia. Among the nations of the world that have expressed their reaction are the autonomous republics of Russia, many western states, and even African nations. In the coming process, it is pointed out that the uprisings against the unacceptable invading policies of Russia will increase significantly more, especially within the BO. Possible especially Chechens have not forgotten what Russia and Putin did a quarter of a century ago and it seems that they will rebel against Putin and Katerov at the first opportunity for them. For them, it's just a matter of time, and that probably depends on the success of the Ukrainian fighters and a single all-encompassing attempt by Russia to go filthy political policies. Spilled hidden truth's blood will all go down in history as the obstacles that the expected Ukrainian victory overcame. Stay cool for now don't forget to follow us thanks for watching.